Hello, this is a material balance example which contains four unit operations as well as calculating the makeup stream needed for a recycled material. Let's get started. A company is trying to use a new proprietary chemical to strengthen wood fibers. The chemical is expensive and the company wants to reuse as much of it as possible. 100 kilograms per hour of wood and 4 liters per minute of chemical are fed into a steady state mixer. The steady stream is a combination of recycled and makeup streams. The mixture is then fed into a filter where the bottom product is equal parts mass of wood and chemical. The top product has a mass flow of 330 kilograms per hour. The top product is fed into an evaporator which has a pure chemical vapor stream. This vapor stream is condensed back into liquid and recycled into the mixer. Any non-vaporized mass leaves the bottom of the evaporator with a mass fraction of 0.5 chemical and combines with the bottom product of the filter. Determine the mass flow rate of the makeup chemical stream and the mass fraction of chemical leaving in the combined mixture stream of the filter. Useful information provided in this example is that the chemical density is 1 kg per liter. According to the given prompt, I came up with this PFD, which yours should look somewhat similar to this. You should have the mixer, the filter, the evaporator, and the condenser. I also went ahead and I wrote out um, all the balance equations for each one of them, as well as in the PFD I put in the unknown and the known values. So one of the first things I like to do, especially on an exam, is to do an overall balance. Especially in this case where we're looking for the makeup flow of the chemical. So when we're looking for the makeup flow, that means we need to make up some type of material to the system because it's already left the system. So if we draw a box around the internal system, which includes all of the processes, we'll be able to isolate what's going in and what's coming out of the entire problem. So I wrote it out I wrote it out here in the overall total balance where we have the makeup here plus the total mass here which is 100 kilograms per hour should equate to the M5. And then if you break it out to components we have 100 wood coming in which should equal M5 times its wood component here. So then looking at this we should be able to do the same thing with the chem. So understanding that we only need the M5 to solve for the question, which is what is the makeup flow? We can avoid going down this path where you have to go down the evaporator and go through the condenser and then sum it up here. Instead, as soon as we get to the M5, that's the answer we're looking for. Moving towards solving for the M5, we can start out with the mixer, so we have quite a bit of information for it. And if you, and then my initial material balance, you can see that we can already solve for it for the M1. One of the most important things about this is that all units have to be the same, especially when we're adding them up. So we have a mass flow here, kilograms per hour, and then we have a volumetric flow here for uh, liters per minute. So I, tra I transferred the liters per minute into a kil kilogram per hour value. So this will be 4 times 60 times 1, so it be 240 kilograms per hour of chemical plus 100 should equal M1. And that equals, so it's 100 plus 240, so 340. It looks like 390. So 340 kilograms per hour. So we have that. And then we can also, since we have M1 now, we can solve for the components of it of X wood and X chem. So for X wood it would be 100 divided by the total flow which is 340 out of M1 will equal X wood. And then rounding to the nearest third decimal point we get 0.294 and then since the components add up to 1. We can say that x chem 
for this situation will be just 1 minus 0.294 and that equates to 0 0.706. So now we have these three values. We have 340 kilograms per hour. We have the 0.294 for the wood. And then for the chem, we have the 0 0.706. So moving on to the filter now, we have M1, which we solved earlier, 340. And then we were given the 330. We can solve for the M2, which is just the in equals the two streams going out. So M2 of 340 minus 330 will just be simply 10 kilograms, 10 kilograms per hour. So we got that down, and then for the rest of this material balance, we have M1, we have X wood 1, we have 330, we have M2. So we can solve for this wood value here, which algebraically would be 0.289. So we have that now, and then same thing as previously, we can just subtract the wool. We can do 1 minus 0.289 to get the chem for the filter, which turns out to be 0.711. So now we have these. Two eight nine, then point seven eleven. At the end of this, I'll post uh, my schematic with all the values and text so you'll be able to read them if you can't from here. And then we have yeah M2 which is 10 kilograms per hour. So then all we have left is for the evaporator and we're, we're almost done. We're almost at the M5. So for the evaporator we have we can just do the wood balance because for this we would have two unknowns and we would have to substitute in. So let's just do the wood balance for this to get a quick answer. We would have 330 times X wood F, which we got at 0.289 and divide that by 0.5. We get M4 at 190.74 kilograms per hour. Using M4, we can solve for the M5 quite easily. M4 and M2 meet at this point right here. We know them both. So M2 plus M4 equals M5. So adding those two up, we get 274 kilograms per hour. And then looking at the comp but the component ratios of them coming in, we got 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So that means when they're mixed together, it's going to be the exact same thing. It's going to be equal mass, 0.5. So we have those, and then we can do a quick sanity check. We have 100 kilograms per hour of wood coming in, and then we have 200.74 times 0.5 wood coming out, which since we rounded is a little off. But still, it's a hundred. It's pretty, pretty close. So if we didn't round, it would be even closer. So it'd be a hundred point thirty-seven kilograms per hour of wood. But more importantly, what this also means is that the point five times the M five will equal the makeup coming in because now we can look at this balance all the way over here so m makeup equals the m5 which is the 200.74 times 0.5 will equal the 100.37 kilograms per hour 
of the mass of the makeup coming in. And that's the answer. Here are the answers to the exercise performed in this video. I hope it helps you study. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. We'll be posting weekly videos for Chemi 205 at Purdue University.